Here I am again. There are many things you people probably think about me, and one of them that you may not be aware of is I am in fact the greatest and most renowned games insider this side of the Mississippi. Jeff Grubbs and Racing Dryers, they ain't got nothing on me, always breaking stories after me. The only thing is, I don't like to give away my sources, and I don't like to ruin surprises. So today I figured I'd explain exactly what is probably going to happen on E3 depending on how plans fluctuate. Of course, keeping myself safe in the process. So why don't we just get right into it, you know? We'll start with... Microsoft has a lot to prove to people this E3. Why in the world would anyone buy an Xbox? There are no games on it, literally. So Microsoft needs to prove that there are going to be games. Of course, starting with Halo Infinite, we all know it's coming. We all know, supposedly, they made it look better. Whether this is true or not, I can't confirm. I mean, I already know these things, of course, but we'll have to wait and see. Microsoft also will likely have more teasers, or they won't. There's really no way to know, except I do know, and I can't give it away. All right, then, keep your secrets. Forza Horizon 5 doesn't exist. Seems that it does to some people. Seems that it doesn't to others. I know, but I will not say. Wolfenstein 3 is shaking around in the atmosphere. I'm not so sure about this one. My sources haven't been quite so honest, but it may be there. Or it may not. Microsoft really is gonna get it together this year. Or they won't. There's no way of knowing, except the ways that I know. Microsoft's also a joint venture with Bethesda this year, so that leaves us with the biggest, most important thing to discuss. Starfield. Oh yes, baby, Todd's back. Back with his beautiful, beautiful face. He's come here to show us the star. But will Starfield release in 2021 or 2022? There is no way of knowing. Racing Grier says it's 2022. I say it's whenever it releases. So that's Microsoft for you. But what about Nintendo? <laughs> Nintendo has a little old game they've been teasing for a while now. A Zelda game that we're all anticipating and waiting with bated breath. Skyward Sword HD. How better to support a dying company like Nintendo than to buy a Amiibo to get fast travel in Skyward Sword HD? Oh yeah. I guess also there's Breath of the Wild 2. People aren't quite as interested in Breath of the Wild 2 as I thought they'd be. But I'll give you an inside scoop right now. Breath of the Wild 2 will be shown at this E3 and likely will release in the future. Of course, depending on how plans fluctuate. What about something we haven't, could not even possibly comprehend? What if Sakurai had a little secret up his sleeve? Well, those are the two big ones who have confirmed appearances at E3. But let's talk about the bad boy company. The one that said, no E3, I don't need you at all. I got a big old console and a big wad of cash. I'll do what I want. Sony. Sony has a little bit of glory to send our way. So with my 100% true sources, I've learned about Horizon 2. Now for the record, this video was recorded two days before the reveal of Horizon 2 gameplay. So everything I say here is just speculation. Horizon Forbidden West will have velociraptors. It will also have uncharted style climbing and have swimming. It will also have the glider from Breath of the Wild and big ol' elephants. It'll also take place in San Francisco. Remember, these are just predictions based off of the insider knowledge provided by my sources. Sony also has another game on the horizon. You see what I did there? God of War Ragnarok. Maybe that's what the title is, we don't know for sure. 
Sony also is working hard to get Naughty Dog to realize their true vision of being a Last of Us studio. We all know The Last of Us Remaster Remake is coming down the road. It's gonna be the best damn game ever made. Not only that, but I've also heard the rumblings. People were quite disappointed when Days Gone 2 was cancelled. So what does Sony go and do? Count on it. That's Sony for ya. But what about the third party publishers? What about EA? Is this good for the player? EA is a very similar company to Sony. They're not messing around with no E3. They're waiting to July. In July, what do we expect to see from EA? Now I'm gonna break a scoop right now. The suspense is terrible. He, EA is going to make a Madden 23 game. Now I know this sounds crazy, but you heard it here first, folks. EA also has Star Wars games to put out. Jedi Fallen Order 2 will likely be shown, or won't, there's no way to know. But yeah, that's about all that we have for EA in July because they don't like to play with others. What about Square Enix? Well, I think we can all say a Final Fantasy 16 is a safe bet, but one thing nobody else seems to be talking about is the possibility of Avengers 2. Electric Boogaloo. Ubisoft. Oh, Ubisoft. The kings of making the open world games. Probably the best ones in the genre, just like this beauty. Perfection. Ubisoft's probably gonna be pretty strong this year with some Far Cry 6 action. Giancarlo Esposito. Oh yes, baby. But they also have other games. Rainbow Six Quarantine. Rainbow Six Parasite. We'll just call it that for now. That game has been teased for a long time, but they seem to keep delaying it. Will it come out this year? I think so. Unless it doesn't. Plans fluctuate. And what about some other miscellaneous games? What about some other big scoops? Well, I've got some delicious scoops for you now. Konami is working on a Silent Hill game. Metal Gear 6 is being made by somebody. Will these games be revealed at E3? No, but they will be revealed sometime down the road, and I'll be there to tell you that I was right. Red Dead Redemption 3, maybe? No, Rockstar's too busy working on GTA 6. But first, we need another 17 years of GTA Online, just to make sure they have enough money to support the development of GTA 6. So that's just my basic insider scoop of E3 2020. Now this is part one of a two-parter, so be prepared for my video post E3, where I will reveal all the other announcements that I knew about beforehand, and when these announcements do or don't end up being true, well, <laughs> you'll see how right I was. God bless E3 and God bless America. Also, Big Rigs Racing is coming back.